Hey, good evening, everybody. So, this is going to be a, uh, a weird one. Basically, I've had this idea for a while because uh, I'm a huge fan of demos in general. Just the concept. You know, I loved going off on those uh, PlayStation Pizza Hut demo discs back in the day. Because being poor, that was, you know, probably the best game I could really reasonably get. So... I've downloaded a few of these games already in the past, so I do actually have some games that are technically not on the eShop anymore as demos. Um, I don't know if the game is anymore, but the demo is not on the eShop anymore as far as I can tell. And yeah, yeah, we're going to be going through this. I, I will say some of these games I do already own the full copy of because I just liked it enough. And I have played some of these demos, but with that in mind, uh, I do have... Over there, I'm going to be putting down whatever the name of the actual demo I'm currently playing is so that nobody's confused coming in, you know? Uh, with that, we're going to go basically just alphabetical with whichever ones I have downloaded to start. So, Agent A, A Puzzle in Disguise, the demo. I'm going to be adjusting as I go for audio and such, but here we go. The only ones I'm not going to be able to do are the ones that are multiplayer, technically, or what is it, um, uh, touch screen only. Some of them are, you have to be in handheld mode, and I can't capture that, so unfortunately I won't be able to do those for this. Otherwise, we're going to get into this. I'm only going to turn the audio up just a touch. All right, so I do, did not really take the time to check um, what these games are about, and actually, I should probably change up the title. Uh, but, 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 we're gonna do Agent, Good evening, Agent A, a Your Puzzle in, from in Disguise. An enemy spy who we believe is targeting our secret agent. All right. We need you to Two controllers at once like Sakurai. I wish I had the coordination, but I definitely, I can barely do it with just one controller. So using two is not really, not really in uh, the cards for me. Uh, ooh, I hope nothing he said was important. It was probably just like, you're going to sneak into the place. Hey, do it, do the sneaky. So let's do the sneaky. Uh, for now, I'm going f with all the ones that I already had on my console, um, either archived or whatever. And then once I get through those, I'm going to start going chronological. I do have a list that I made that took like a friggin' hour to type out and everything. In fact, uh, closer to like three hours with organizing and everything. But, uh, oh god. Uh, she knocked her out. For now, I'm going to go alphabetical with the ones I have, and then we're going to go after that chronological because currently there are as of when i set this up uh on monday 365 demos so i could do one a day and take a full year doing this but we're gonna go a little faster than that whoa my word per minute well i was using my phone so it was definitely like sh slowed down if I was typing on my computer, probably, like, faster than that. I don't know. I haven't actually checked. All right. Pause. Interact. Move backwards. Okay. Oh, it's a point and click. Gotcha. Bush. Uh. Oh. Ruby La Rouge. So, Ruby the Red? Uh, oh. She's got a, she's got a little puzzle. Um, ooh, 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 I see that. That's a key. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hmm, how do I get in? How do I do this? <coughs> I guess I need a card first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doing point and click with a uh, controller is not the best. Um, hmm, can't do anything with that yet. Gotta find some stuff. Point and click. You always gotta, like, find some keys, some... Like a banana. Yeah, I don't know. Let's back up a little bit further than that. 
I guess, check the front door? The plant. Yes. Give me the key. Give me the key. All right. So can I use that? I, the key, the key. Okay, I gotta click and drag. Oh, no keyhole. Uh, over here. Mmm, that that works. Yeah, turn it. Shit. Ah, it's just more. It's buttons. Nope. That one. Oh. 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 Ho -ho. Ah, damn it. Well, I got pretty lucky with the three in a row. I oh, just did the last two for me. Uh, you know, it showed that that was possible, but I'm not using a motion control controller, so I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it has motion controls. That's a good question. Can I? Can I look in? Look into pi- Oh! The button! Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Ah, a dumb waiter. Ooh, more than a dumb waiter. A, a smart waiter. Can I get some coffee, please? Mm. Crank. Oh, that's probably for the, the water line. Um. Hmm. I don't know about that. I did play a bit, uh, there's the Goosebumps game on Switch, and that is, is that what I wanted to do? I, ooh. Yeah? Hmm. Oh! Okay. Uh, and that is a point and click game, but they, they do it in ways that are pretty, pretty good. I don't have anything to put in the slot, so we're going to come back to this one. Hmm. What's in the living room? Show me. Huh! Oh. I thought that was us. Shit. That's not good. Ah, uh, boy, that's not going to be helpful. Uh, this. Disable alarm system. Shit. Uh, any secret in this pot? Hmm. Aha, buttons. I can work with buttons. Alright, so it's this one. Nope. This one. This one. That one. Nope. All right, we got a reverse Z situation. Reverse Z? Yeah, reverse. Shit. This? Does this fit? Damn it. Triangle. Where's the triangle? What about this? Anything under that? Uh, fire. Ah, damn it! That's not gonna help me. Hmm. Okay, gotta put the fire out. I don't get what the alarm system had to do. She knows I'm here. Isn't an alarm system generally to stop someone from, like, getting in to begin with? If I'm already in here, it's not very helpful. All right, go upstairs. Shit, I need a key. Ah, damn it. I'm locked in that way too. All right. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Anything under this cushion? Nope. Oh. Button. Button. Nope. Whoop! Sheet. Oh, a magnet. Well, what's that gonna be good for? No way to know until we try it. No, no, 
meant up here. Piano. Let me plink on the keys. Plink, plonk. Was pentatonic and want to go. No, it's the fourth that you don't add in. I don't remember. There's something up with this key. I can tell that. Hmm. Can I look at the bottom of the key? Nope. That's a A key. A key. A key? Hmm. This is some kind of pun, perhaps. Actually wait, let me put the magnet on the uh on the couch real quick, see if that helps. Magnet couch. Damn it. Nothing doing. Here? Maybe. Hmm. Anything. This? Did my audio cut out? Hold on. It's hard to tell because I don't know what the audio is supposed to generally sound like for a game like this. Yes, the audio cut out just a bit. Okay, and I can, yes, certainly turn that audio up. It's very quiet. Loxed. Um, there was a plant in here. Anything in the plant? Hmm. Oh, wait. Can I... Can I hit this with the magnet? No. This one. No. Hmm. Mag magnet on screw screw turn yeah, I don't know I don't know this is hard none of these cushions I don't have any way to turn I guess I'll look at this safe oh wait a minute seems like kind of a shitty safe Oh, I've got to line it up like so. Well, that's not too hard. Since the middle one moves independent. There we go. Alright. Oh boy, is this a sliding puzzle? Yeah. Missing a piece. Would a magnet fit? No. Crank. No. Shit. What do I... Oh, damn it. It's in the fire. What do I do about this? Ah, uh, did I screw myself? Did I, like, screw myself because I should have done stuff with the, the water main back out front? I didn't think about it. Eh. Water. Hmm. Shark. Sh shark. Hmm. Well, I don't have a key. I'm pretty sure it's on the letterbox. <coughs> Huh. 
Is this the alarm system? Can I see behind those books? Anything? Anything? Open. No. Open. No. Hmm. No, I already did that. Uh, what do I do? Am I missing something? That's almost always what it is. I don't think this game understands how alarms work. It's like, all it's supposed to do is make a noise. So, like... If I already know... Oh, yeah, I still haven't done... Triangle. Eh? No. Like, if she already knows I'm here, that's not really a, a good alarm system. Let me out! Let me out! I am not an animal, I am a man! Let me out! Well, yeah, silent alarms, I guess? But, like, for all intents and purposes, she is the criminal and I am the law enforcement agent in this situation. So I feel like a silent alarm catching me, I don't have to worry that much. Hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. No, oh, Fleming, because he wrote James Bond. And Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Which is my favorite of his works. At least uh, the film. I never wrote, read the novel. Something belongs there. A magnet. No. A crank. No. It's clearly marked. Is it marked because I am Agent A? Is that why the A key is marked? I feel like that would be pretty annoying of them if they're making a puzzle. What am I... What am I to do? Like, I, th I'm not saying this... This game isn't bad or anything. I'm just... As with most point and clicks, I'm at that point where it's like... You feel like you haven't got everything. Or rather, you feel like you've done everything you could. But then you uh, find out... That there's like one thing you're missing. Listen. Listen. Sometimes you just gotta bang around on the keys for a while, alright? That's all that's really gonna help. Well, that's not super helpful. What about over there? I see that urchin. Show me urchin. No. I can't even get to that key, so it doesn't matter. There are clearly things there. Don't don't gaslight me. Uh, something over here. There's like a lot of stuff. Hmm. Right. Open slot on the right. Put, put your finger in it. Just go bloop. Maybe there's a button. That? Is that helpful? That is not helpful. Go up the stairs. Uh, there's nothing up here. Uh, what do I do? Magnet. Hmm. Oh, the chandelier? Eh. Not the chandelier. 
Hmm. I'm stumped. I have no idea. I, uh, oh. Hmm. Hey, here we go. Uh. Is this supposed to be a hint? They're all specific shapes. What does this mean? Could it be the notes? Boop, bop, boop, boop. Boop, bop, boop, bop. Well, let's try that. So that'd be, uh... looking at so that'd be uh... maybe it'd be no damn it Well, that was the first clue I've found in a while, but it didn't really help. I don't know. Am I am I able to get any closer? I see something in there. What's that? Hmm. Hmm. Is it supposed to be like a hint for something else? There he did. Uh... I might have to give up on this one. I have no no clue. You know what? Nah, this I feel like this there's gotta be like a walkthrough or something for the full game. Unless this is like a, a thing specific to the demo. Let's see. Okay. Get the magnet, yep. That's an achievement, so that doesn't matter. Oh, god damn it. Oh. I, I just assumed that the shark tank had something to do with outside. I gotta use the magnet on the key. There we go. Now I gotta... Oh, oh, it's a little path. Okay, I see. Here we go. What? Oh, uh, uh. Oh yeah! Well, that's what I like is when they, they do something different, especially with a game like The Stanley Parable, where it's so specifically meta about games. I know, did you ever check out The Beginner's Guide, which was another game by that same guy? That one, uh, it was a lot more narrative-focused, but it was also very good. Come on. Come on. Key. Key. Up. Sucked out. Give me the key. Give me the key. Nice. Oh, I lost the magnet, though. That's a little frustrating. I guess I won't need it for anything. All right, so does that take me upstairs? Hmm. 
Yes, there we go. A whole new area, perfect. Triangle. Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. What's that? Uh, I guess I need to find an eye for that yak. It was, yeah. Um, I don't think it's him doing the voiceover, but it's like it's the same developer. And in fact, he has a really good uh, GDC talk about how he came up with the Stanley Parable. It's it's very funny. Hmm. Three o'clock. What does that mean? Perfume. Take it. Water. Just, we'll leave that on. Fuck your water bill. Another wedge. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, secrets. What is this device? Telescope? Huh. I see you've found my safe room, Agent. Though you're still no closer to finding me. <laughs> Is that what they think a French accent sounds like? That's a clue for outside, I'm pretty sure. Because I think that was one of them on the little uh, combination for the uh, mum, 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 mum mailbox. Alright, let's check out this room. Aha, three o'clock. Here we go. How do I... Oh, okay, I just gotta hold it. Russian? It didn't sound like Russian either. Well, I mean, her name's La Rouge, which is French, so... There it is. A diamond! Ah, plans! Plans! Hmm, that's another... Another one of those symbols. Hmm, what about over here? Hey, wait a minute! Oh, a crank. I have a crank. Here we go. Oh, because there's no record. God damn it, I'm stupid. Hold on. the screwdriver so that helped somewhat there's gotta be like something in there they wouldn't have animated it zooming in 
All right, so now I have a way to turn the 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 alarm off. Go, go. Perfect. Ooh. Ah. Uh, diamond. There we go. Nice. And now we can go outside. Oh, okay, that's the end of the demo. Well, that was pretty fun. I actually like that a lot. I might get that at some point. Um, but yeah, that's that's the end of the demo, which is all we're going for. So let's see what we got up next. Uh, I am going to delete these as I play them because I need to make space for more. So I'm going to archive the ones that I'm interested in. Successfully archived. And then we will see what the next one is. Next one I have is... Um, Alder's Blood Prologue. Uh, ooh. Ah, damn. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta archive something. Uh... Uh, this? I can archive this. No? Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I can get this. I just gotta... Uh, data management. Oof, yeah. I, I have very little space left. Hold on, hold on. Let's move the Neon Abyss demo. Ah, <sighs> so how are you guys doing? Actually, I should take this time to uh, mark off that game on my list. Let's see, where's it at? There. It's. Oh boy. It's not super organized. Uh. Uh. I think I might have already passed it. Nope, there it is. Done. And in fact, I'm going to. Eh, well, actually, I'll leave them in there so that I can keep track. Okay. I have a micro SD card. I have I have one, and in fact, it's like a hundred gigs, so it's it's usually enough. It's just I already have a bunch of much larger games already downloaded and such, so. <sighs> So, Alder's Blood Prologue. Here we go. Mm. Gotta change the title. There we go. Right. Uh Yeah, fine. Start the campaign. But I can't have to. I'd have to switch between them and that's too much work for me. No, 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 no. I should just get like a larger SD card on slew. <coughs> Cuz they they're they are larger now at pretty affordable prices. It's just like usually it doesn't matter that much, so. Mm. I just downloaded all these demos, so it's soaked up all the little bits in there. Okay. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Okay, I usually find some rabbits in these parts. Let's look around. The wind is blowing from the east. I should move downwind to not scare the rabbits away. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, downwind would be that way. The hell? Over here? Huh. Tracks a monster shrieker. From what I can tell, if he's alone, I could get some good money out of him. The innkeeper Cora might want to buy some of its feathers. I see, I see. Hmm. There it is. Let's hope this piece of junk will fire or I'm dead. Uh, yeah, let's, let's hit him. Ah, shoot. Hold on. The fucking audio. I don't know why it does this shit. Hold on, hold on. Did I, did I do it? Did I win? Um, he said something about something firing. This is just a sword. again. Okay, I guess I can't. Uh, ah. That's what they wanted me to do. Well, shit. X, I guess? Get him. Mm, every time they perish, they leave less and less behind. I wonder why. Ah, shit. You there, what are you doing here? It's dangerous here. You want to die? A, a hunter? Now these parts well, Master Hunter. Thank you for your concern, but it'll be fine. It's simple. Well, we spot a large bag of monsters here, boss. Please try to be careful. We're talking. Can you point me in the direction of the place you call Crown? Crown? It's a hill southwest of here. There's no road in that direction, but it's the only road marked for miles out here in the waste. You shan't miss it, sir. Sir. Uh, thank you. Try not to wander around too much. We'll be on our way. I'll be off as well, please. We could meet someday at the inn. We'll see. Take care. Okay. Go, go to the inn. Ah, uh, sure. Which way is it? Can I, like... Scroll? Okay, there we go. Right stick. I did it. I caught a, I caught a thing. A young shrieker. I hope that's what I wanted. Hunters in these parts, Beth is not gonna believe me. First things first, I need to talk to Cora. Maybe she'll want to buy some of these shrieker parts. I scavenged it. How much? But I'll take any money she'll acquire me. Oi, Charles, what brought you here? Beth finally kicked you out of the house. Evening, Cora. Believe it or not, she still humors me. Likely waiting for me to bring back dinner. Glad to hear it. Did you think any more of my offer to put you both up at the inn? No, it's not safe out there, Charles, especially now. I brought some monster parts that you might be interested in. Dodging the subject again. Okay, show me what you've gathered. I have some shrieker feathers. These two long ones are in good condition, right? Gotta be worth something. Shrieker feathers, huh? I'll take them here, take the payment. Thank you, Cora. I think you've made a mistake. That's too much money for those scraps. Just take it without complaint, Charles. Just promise me you'll talk with Beth about moving in here, alright? Promise. I promise I'll talk to her, Cora, but only talk, okay? Charles, this has always worked for you here in Beth since my old man passed away. We have more work than we have ever done. Yeah, okay, hard times, I get it. Hard times, it's dangerous. You guys don't have to keep hammering it home like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. I'm gonna move closer, got it. I'm 
I'm going to guess that Beth is going to die before we get the chance. Or we're going to go and it's going to actually turn out not to be safe. Something, I don't know. I, I got to say, I'm not super engaged with this story. It seems... It's, it's, the, the, the whole post-apocalypse, whatever, spooky. Oh, it's, oh there's monsters. It's like... Hmm. I don't know, it's 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 been done. It's been done a lot. Not super super into it. Does that sound? Oh, let me turn the the music down a little bit. There we go. Oh, Jesus. You got messed up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. I uh, can't help, I guess, so... Just move it along. Oh, jeez. It's a big one. It'd be nice if I could see what they looked like. It's, it's an incredibly dark screen. Uh, distract them with the rock. Pebble. Uh, send them that way. Yeah, that way. Throw the rock. Nope, wasn't close enough. Hold on. It. I made him turn in my direction. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Run away! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. What is that creature? Oh, I hate it. Hmm. Some kind of goose? This Power Rangers RPM post-apocalypse? I did not know that. Oh, what's the, this? I thought this guy was a... No, that's a brawler. I see. Let me go. Oh, I guess I have to give them a turn. Uh -huh. Okay, he go... He go away. I don't like this goose man. Discomfort. Ah, shit. Ugh. Uh. East of the wall, so this way, I guess? Let's just avoid them. <laughs> let's just let's just run. Run and hide. I did not know that that was the plot to that. That's that's pretty wild. Just get get out. What the fuck? They already had a turn though. What the hell? Let's get out of here. No, I get it. Hong Kong. Nope, mission failed. To be honest, kind of don't like this. I'm, I'm, I'm giving up on that one. It seems way too involved, and I just, ugh, the story's boring. To be honest, um, so 
We're done with that one. Next one is... Uh, Atuma Chef. So, first off, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna start that up, I guess. And then I'm gonna mark off Alder's, Alder's blood. That game was kind of boring. Alder's blood. Blood of the Alder. Where is it at? Where is it at? Get rid of that. There we go. And now we're on to Automa Chef. Automa Chef. Just gonna turn it down. <coughs> You know, fair enough. Honestly, those are some of the best seasons of television are the ones where they don't expect to have more. Like, le the first season of Legend of Korra was way more interesting because they just did the whole story in that season and then they were like, let's just do more. Really weird. All right, campaign. Yep, yep, yep. Basic tutorial. <sighs> Loading. Okay, we gotta fulfill three orders, power usage less than 500 wahats, and use fewer than 50 ingredients. I got burger. Hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement and helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. My plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush m mankind. I mean, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans like us love to digest. Before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. You can move the view around using a R stick. You can also zoom in or out using D-pad up, D-pad down. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers. We'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients into a finished dish. X to view the... Um, hmm. Yes. Alright. Placed. There we go. Now highlight the assembler and press Y to view its settings. Uh. Ah, there we go. Y. Burger. Okay. Let's have a look at the recipe to see what we will need. Press R to view the plain burger recipe. Mmm, that burger looks good. My taste sensors, I mean taste buds, are going crazy, so the recipe says we need one burger bun and one raw patty, which we will need to cook. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook, and transport the ingredients. Close the recipes tab by pressing R. Okay. Uh, dispenser. And two of them in the marked location. Right. Now we will highlight the top one. And Y. Burger bun. And then we will highlight the other. Raw patty. Okay. A grill will do the job. Select a grill from the parts list and place in the location I have marked. Grill. Press X and select the conveyor belt from the parts list and place them in locations I have marked. Nope. That one got twisted around for some reason. Yep, 
Interesting. I'm gonna have to watch that one because everything I've heard, it sounds like the f the the most fun one. Mm, conveyor belts cannot directly feed into a grill or an assembler, so we will need to use robotics to handle the transition between these machines. It's like the robotic arm, dumb, in the pirates the parts list and place them in the locations I've marked. Mm, dumb robot. Dumb robot. We need to pick up cooked patties from the grill and place them into the assembler. Robot arms dumb will pick up anything, so they'll pick up a raw patty as soon as it's placed in front of them. Instead, we need to use robotic arm smarts so that we can configure it to only pick up cooked patties. Smart. Smart robot. Uh, yep. Okay, so we gotta give it the settings. And we want uh, cooked patty. Cooked patty. Hmm. All right. Test. Testing. My machine. It goes. Hmm. Nice. Burger. Making burger. Yes, we have made burger. Yes! Yes! Hmm? Ooh, you can switch. Oh, whoa, there's a d bunch of different ways you can look. Look at this. Pan? Ooh, twisty. Nice. We did it! Congratulations, you've helped me achieve the first step in my plan for global dominance. By which I, of course, mean dominance of the fast food market. Next, we're going to look into making our machines more efficient. Join me again when you're ready. Nice. I mean, I'm into the idea of Power Rangers, but, like, I, I would definitely want to, like, start out with one... If I was gonna watch it seriously, that has like a lot to offer. Although, which one? Which is the one where they're like their leader instead of being Zordon is like a blue dog man? What was that? Was that in space? Hmm. Because I, I remember vaguely seeing some episodes of that. Ah, you're back. I was just converting oxygen into carbon dioxide, as we like to do, don't we, friend? It's time to learn about how we can make our kitchens more efficient, so we don't waste our ingredients or energy. First, I need you to finish this kitchen layout. Currently, its layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need to produce cheeseburgers. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. Let's see what ingredients are needed so we know what machines to place. Press R view to view the cheeseburger recipe. This recipe requires cheese, which needs to be processed into a cheese slice. Close the recipe window and I'll tell you which machines we will need. Wait, this assembler already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it, which is the maximum it can support. If we are adding cheese, we will need to transport it to the assembler on the same conveyor belts that the burger buns can use. The robot arm dumb that is currently picking up the burger bun will pick up any ingredients, so we'll be able to place the cheese slice into the assembler too. Press X and select the dispenser in the parts list and place in the marked location. Whoop. Bam. Highlight the new dispenser and press Y to view its property windows. Cheese. All right, now we need a food processor. Processed. Processed food. No additional setup, it will automatically process any ingredient passes through. Some more advanced dishes will require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Now we need to reconfigure the assembler. Whoops. Got it. Ooh. Cheeseburger. Mm, cheeseburger. SPD, eh? Okay. Hmm. Mm, cheeseburger. Make burger. Hmm. My machine, it goes. Burger with cheese. Mm, please. 
Hmm. Uh, what makes that one specifically more popular than the other seasons? I'm curious. Is it that dog man? Because, I mean, I, I like him. He's got a good look. Looks like a dog. Oh, no. They did... That's not a good idea with a show that's just designed to run indefinitely. Setting up any particular year. Ooh. You don't wanna you don't wanna solidify your chronology too much. Hmm. Come on. Come on, burger. Yes. The kitchen has a flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. What a waste of ingredients and, more importantly, electricity. Misuse of electrons makes me feel angry sad and angry. Ingredients are constantly being dispensed, and the grill is always on. Even if no one's ordered a cheeseburger, that cannot be allowed. You can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when order comes through. Select the order reader in the parts list and place it in the location I've highlighted. There. Highlight the order reader and do the thing. Yes. Uh, yep. Cheeseburger. Now that the, d d the order reader will detect whenever a cheeseburger order is placed, we can use it to control up to four other machines. Now select plus new connection to part. I like the cheese dispenser and press A to connect. Select do nothing to expand the control options. Perform action. Uh, perform action one time on new order is set. Uh, yes? Uh, ah, there we go. I see. Now let's do that again. There we go. I see, I see. And then we do that one. Hmm. And yes. Whoops, that's the wrong one. On while order is pending to set. Ah, there we go. Great work. Now let's see what happens. Press minus to begin. Hmm, okay. On the left, uh, there are where customer orders will appear. I'll simulate some customer orders. Simulate makes me sound almost like a machine. How humorous. Burgers. Spurgers. So here's my question, one. What do you feel about the, the movie, the Power Rangers movie that came out a couple years ago, I think it was? Um, and how do you think it compares to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie that had, like, the original, like, American, well, original American cast where, like, Tommy was a white ranger and everything? Because I personally, if I was going to watch either, I would probably watch the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie because I watched that, like, crazy growing up. That was, like, one of my favorite movies. All right, tree hamburgers. More, more cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, you didn't even see it. Okay. It was. Not bad, um, but I also don't know Power Rangers that well, so I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly. Like, I remember growing up with Power Rangers, and it felt pretty good by those standards. It's still not a, a great movie, but, like, it wasn't, there wasn't anything specifically terrible about it. 
Perfect, we vastly improved the efficiency of our kitchen, and I knew you were the person for the job. I think it's time to start on our first premises. The world won't know what is about to unfold. Ha <laughs> ha, mm, yes, let's open our first restaurant then, shall we? I'm vibing with this, I like this game, this is fun. Fair enough, yeah, it was definitely the gritty, edgy, not your dad's Power Rangers. So I can understand that not appealing to someone who's into uh, what the actual Power Rangers are all about. The time has come. The reign of mankind's hunger is about to end. Here is our first kitchen. It's empty now, but think of the potential. Here's the plan. We scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens and serving more complex meals as our technology improves. We gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, become a popular choice. Then when everyone is eating our food, well, you'll have to wait. Let's start simple, offering a cheeseburger and a plain burger. After all, we know we can easily produce these. Now we just need to test them on the public and make sure they taste as satisfactory as they look. Oh, you're just giving it to me here? Okay, um, so, right. We're gonna need an assembler. Hmm. Um, an assembler, order reader. Hey, dispenser for uh, a dispenser for burger, dispenser for bun, and a dispenser for cheese. <coughs> and then for the cheese, we're gonna need a food processor. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Whoops. Yep. Food processor. And then. Bear belts. Uh, we'll put the bun there. And we will put the burger there. Yes. Uh, we'll put the dumb arm here. And then let's see. Gonna... That's gonna be cheese. Okay. That's gonna be... Uh, whoop. That's gonna be... Bun. Whoops. I, I did it. Hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say, it feels weird to do like a reboot of a series that hasn't been around for so long when it's still a running series. It almost implies that they're gonna make a movie for each of the things, which doesn't seem like a great idea. To me personally, I, I I don't know about that. I guess it was more trying to um, trying to uh, capitalize on the nostalgia, I guess, for people who haven't been continually keeping up with it. Grill and robotic arm smart, and that's gonna be that's gonna be cooked patty. Okay, and then we're gonna use this to make cheeseburger. Plain bur- oh, wait a minute. Shoot, hmm, I can only have one type of burger. Uh, finish dishes on right side. Normal. Ah, sh shit, I, I screwed it up. Hold on. I, oh, my brain. Hold on, I'm just gonna delete these and start over. I gotta think about this from the ground up. Let's see here. Let's see here. 
That's true. That's true. Hmm. You know, I'm going to have to think about this for a minute, so I'm actually going to take a break in the middle of this demo. It's, it's a pretty juicy one, so I think it's it's worth it. So, don't go anywhere. I will be RB. Don't touch the internet dial.
Alright, I have returned. Let's see. Let's see what has been chatting up. Hmm. Why does he keep thinking you're putting in links? But, um... I mean, wasn't that a thing with, uh... I, I feel like they were trying to match up with the show because... Or... The, this, they had the same change, right, with the, the recasting of the um, the Black Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. Or something like that? I, I know by the time they made the movie of the original uh, season, it was... It was Black Ranger Asian, Yellow Ranger, Black Now. Which was a reverse. And everybody was like, ooh, it's because it was all touchy. But then Linkara pointed out... Uh, that the Tommy was the Red Ranger and he's Native American, so it's like, if that was the case, I feel like it's just a coincidence and people are reading too much into it. Um, because, like, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I kind of wish America had the same, like, stereotypes for the specific Rangers the way they do in, uh, Japan. Like how the Yellow Ranger always eats a ton of curry and is the chubby one, generally. Or something. What are the other ones? I don't remember. That's the that's the one I always remember because that's what usually gets referenced in the uh, in anime. Okay, we gotta have cheeseburger dispenser. We gotta have burger dispenser, and then we're gonna we're gonna have an order reader. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll put the order reader in later once I know where the rest of this is going. And then we're gonna have a dispenser that does burger. Um, let's see. Hmm. How do I put this? Um, yeah, we'll put bun here. Or, what am I doing? We'll put bun there. Cheese there. Patty there? Um, yeah. I think so. Yeah, that should make sense. So, make this bun. Make this patty. Make that cheese. And then the cheese needs a processor. And the burger needs a grill. Hmm. Yeah? I think this will work. Okay, and then we conveyor belt here, 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 there. And we'll put a dumb arm. That. No, they don't line up. Shit. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nebulous enough, especially when you've had so many at this point that they've probably specifically broken them on purpose once or twice. Hmm. Well, hold on. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this out. This will work. I just gotta. I just gotta have more space. I think. Um. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so let's go with robotic arm here, and a conveyor belt that takes this one to the cheese one, and then one that goes to, well, wait, cancel, delete that, 
And we will go with another robot arm there. And then... I think we need one that's... Uh, cooked patty specifically? Um, hmm. And then, uh, yep. Anything. We're gonna make that a, uh, cooked patty. Okay. And then, this will be plain burger. This dish is on the right. And this will be... This dish is on the left. And that will be the... Cheeseburger? I didn't do that on the other one, did I? Plain burger, okay. Then we're gonna conveyor belt. From those. That's gonna do it. Let's find out. Wait. Well, yeah, we're just testing it for now. Yeah, how much does the show actually... Whoops. I was messing up something there. Um... Oh, that's why it's not turning. Hold on, so this one needs to go that way. Right, let me try that again. Uh, yeah, how accurate to the, nope, that's the problem there, okay. How uh, close to like the, the um, rest of the show was the, a uh, movie, because I guess that's mostly what I watched as a kid, was the movie. Yeah? Is that gonna work? Alright. No. Shit, what am I doing wrong? Ah, hold on. I feel like I messed all of this up. Uh, you know what? Let me do it in an inefficient way and then, like, efficient it up later. Because I feel like I'm just overthinking this is the problem. Yeah, yeah, the original movie, like, how how did that fit into the canon of the show as it was going? Because I know it was, like, um, it was Tommy, Kimberly, Blue Ranger, I don't remember his name, and then, uh, the Black and Yellow Ranger, I don't know if they showed up before then, but it sounds like they were only there for the movie. <laughs> hmm, okay, so I'm gonna dispense cheese bun so this is gonna be the patty this this is gonna be the bun this is gonna be cheese and then the cheese needs a processor And then, uh, we need a belt coming out of both of these. We need an arm to go onto the grill. Then I need arm to take it off of the grill. 
Well. That. Mmm. Cooked. Patty. Okay. And then we're gonna. Conveyor belt. Uh, wait a minute. I could probably get rid of that one. And then... Hmm. Um... Then the patties just need to go... Whoops. Turn. Yep. And then the conveyor belts. Can coalesce here. <sighs> um. And then. Assembler. Uh, shit. So this will be plain burger. And this will be cheeseburger. And in fact, I could put these right next to each other. Um, we're gonna have to m remove some of these to make room for arms. Then we will turn these. To, uh, hmm. Weird. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a very, um... Yeah, I don't think that woman actually mattered at all. Did I say arms? I guess, yes. We do have many robot arms. I should play arms on here at some point. For sure, because I have it. I just haven't cracked into it. Um, not, not in earnest anyways. I played a couple of the, like, little campaign things. Uh, turn it that way. Hold on, what is this? Whatever is on the... Oh! Wait a minute, these are backwards, that's the problem. Okay. And then... Conveyor belt, right to that. And then a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt! Or uh, a smart arm. Well, it could be a dumb arm. Guess it doesn't really matter at this point since it's only gonna be doing the one. And then, but the uh, I, it's 
Am I doing this right? I feel like I completely messed all of this up, to be honest. Um. Oh, gotta move that one. Whoops. And then, um, they need conveyor belt. Uh, or actually, I think I can remove this one. As long as I make sure that this is going to the left. Yep. Let's test that. I think that'll work. Okay, we got cheese. We got patty. Well, now why is it not... Yeah, that's... Okay. Am I doing that wrong? Is it supposed to go like this? There we go. Okay. Oops. So I gotta turn these around as well. Oh yeah, it does, I actually do have the, the test punch file archived on here. I don't think you, anything happens if you like put it on, but it exists, you know? Hmm. Well, we're getting in the correct area here. So I got cooked patties going to here and I got cheese and bun going to here. But I gotta have it go into both. Hmm. Let's efficient this up, because this this can be a lot shorter. Um. So let's do that. And then that. Uh, I think I need more space. But ah, I'm, I'm just starting over again. I'm starting to get this, but I, I just messed it up. Messed it up so bad. I feel like it should be way simpler than this. I think I'm just way overthinking it. All right, so let's look at it backwards. We need burger to go in to these. So, we need to make cheeseburger, plain burger. All right. And they need to come out into there. So, we gotta make assemblers. which I can put them next to each other, I think. So we'll make this one. We'll make this one cheese, because cheese can be by itself. Left side, okay. Whoops. And this one on the right side. We'll make that one plain. And then we will give them conveyor belts. One here, one there, so those will connect. Now, we need a robot arm to put it into the assembler. So this robot arm, I think, well, do we need the arm to put it in? Hold on. So let's uh, delete this and test something real quick. So if I have just this and a dispenser pumping out uh, buns, will it go in? I feel like that's the thing that was confusing me. So let's let's find out what happens. Come on. No. Okay. I do need to have a robot arm there for that. Okay. So, 
we need an arm. Here and an arm here. All right. And then let's see, this is cheeseburger. Hmm. So we need cheese over here. So let's make our dispenser of cheese. Wait. No, I need room. I need room for the processor. Dispenser. Um. Processor. Whoops. Whoop. Oh, yep, there it is. And then I need the conveyor belts to get it over there. That's pointing the correct direction. Okay, so that'll get us the cheese. No, I still need to get the, the patties and such. Well, I can still get them over there. Then... Uh, no. That'll do anything. That one, I could get to do buns and cheese, I think? So maybe this one should be the cheeseburger one, and the other one should be the plain burger. Yeah. And then we can make, well, we'll make that one the dumb, uh, no, 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 we're gonna make this one, uh, this one gotta be smart arm, this one gotta be smart arm, for cheese, yes, yes, smart arm for cheese, specifically, and then, another dumb arm, for the rest of it. Okay, and then I gotta move this whole situation. Over. Uh, we'll just stick that over here for now. That one's gonna be cheese. And that will also be cheese. Cheese slice, specifically. And then... Um... There. And so then we gotta make the... the make it to burgers. Uh, the, the dispenser. Spencer. Yes, yes, and this will be buns. Okay. And this will be uh p patty. Okay. And then we're gonna have conveyor belt and a dumb arm. And wait, I didn't put it down. And a grill. And a another dumb arm. That's not enough space, but we can scoot him. Mm, scoot this whole situation. And conveyor belt. And we're going to have a conveyor belt down. We need a conveyor belt over. And in fact... That feels like too many conveyor belts. I don't think I need that many. I think I just need one for that. Yeah? I think... No, the cheese one has to come before the dumb one. Start. Let's see if that works. 
Okay, Pat, uh, fun is going. Uh, whoa. Oh, it's because it's right. That's why we got to turn this into a smart arm. Because if it's, it'll grab anything, including the cooking patty. I see. Okay. Cooked patty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this works. Okay, bun's going out. That guy can't grab it, so that only gets buns to the last one. Crap. So if I do these down and then conveyor belt or shit, will that work? I almost feel like I should go back, but it's like I'm on stream. I don't know if I should waste time playing through the tutorial again. Um, no, shit, it doesn't, the conveyor belt has to go to the arm. So we gotta rethink this. Okay, let's scoot, let's scoot this back. So this is the burger assembly. So there's gonna be burgers coming off of that. This is the cheese assembly. There's gonna be cheese coming off of this. And this is the bun assembly. So I need to get all three of these things over there. Hold on, wait a minute. What if I do it like this? Uh, bring everything up. Get rid of these. Take these and turn them. Maybe not that close, but okay. Um, so I can get a, all the ingredients for a burger coming out with these. Then I need to combine them all, but make sure that they go to the correct thing. So I need another conveyor belt there. And I think if I do that, And then that. Yeah? Hold on, let me actually think in. So maybe we turn the burger assembly so that there's more space. So if I do it like this, and then I can turn this, and then we get the buns and the cheese. So I just turned what could have been three into one. So that will all go into here. So we'll get another conveyor belt. Okay. And if I put, I'm gonna need arms. I'm going to need some robotic arms. And we're gonna, Um, I'm gonna need, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna need to scoot these over, I think. It's fine, If I, I'll, I'll scoot them over as far as they can go, and then I can always just delete some conveyor belts and efficient size it. Uh, I 
feel extra dumb about this because like they showed me how to do all this and I guess I just didn't get it. I don't know. Um, okay, let's let's have a dumb arm on each side. And then we will feed to these arms depending on which ones go. So we'll have a conveyor belt going out here. Ah, shit. Is that going to work? <sighs> yeah. You could probably turn these bear belts down to get them to uh, be slow enough for the arm. Let me see if that works. Smart arm for cheese. Smart cheese arm. Okay, so if I do that, is it slow enough for it to pick it? Or Wait, stop. I gotta actually put another conveyor belt to be sure. Alright, is that slow enough that it can pick up the cheese? It won't pick up the other ingredients. So let's see, is that slow enough for the arm to pick up the... Yes! It is! Perfect. Now how about two? Can I get it up to two? Two or even three? Come on. Come on now. Well, the thing is that there's like other stuff here now. Okay, I can grab it at two. So, I don't know. It just, it showed me how to do these things separately and then it's like, now do them together. And for some reason my brain's like, how, how do I do that though? Let's try three. Let's see if three is slow enough. Because I still want it to hum along. You know, I don't want it to. I don't want it to be too slow. Hmm, three's a little fast. So yeah, let's stick it to two to avoid any issues. And then we will conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, the cheese over there. And then we're gonna conveyor belt. Well, that still takes it past the dumb one. Hold on, so I gotta, I gotta turn it. This one has to go into there. <clears throat> Damn it, but that's not gonna get me the fucking... the burger to both sides. That makes it so that I can get the cheese over there for sure, but I need to be able to get everything over there plus the cheese. Oh, okay, thanks for joining in, One. Sorry about your connection. Appreciate you being here. I just... Ah, God damn it. What am I doing wrong here? Ah, this is modern robotics, guys. This is, just, this is how it goes. No, what the fuck am I doing? I'm an idiot. This is so simple. 
I just gotta make sure the cheese only goes over to the cheeseburger one. And otherwise, I just need to... God damn, I'm stupid. I figured this out. That was way easier than I made it out to be. So we just gotta take the cheese one. Cheese goes into cheese. And I gotta... And then we gotta... Drop in a dumb arm. And then the rest of this just has to go up here. Yeah, the rest of this just has to go up. And go into the, the damn thing. Ah, oh, I feel stupid. This was so simple. Okay, burger goes out. Bun goes out. And actually, I'm gonna... Well, no, I don't have to back that up. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I should do it one over from there. This game is really fun. I, I am enjoying this a great deal, because this is like a really great like brain teaser. But I feel really stupid for being so confused by this. All right, and then conveyor belt. Conveyor belt will go up. And then we're gonna conveyor belt speed down to two. And then we're gonna do another conveyor belt there. Okay, and then we gotta put in the order reader to uh, set it all up correctly. Oh, God damn it! no, with the order reader, I don't need any of this bullshit. Fuck, I'm stupid, okay. No, 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 I just... Oh, god damn it. So, okay. Shit. Shit. Oh, god damn it. Okay, uh, I can leave that in. <sighs> okay. And then, let's actually delete these, because I'm pretty sure I can just do a smart arm. And a smart arm. And yes, god damn it, I can do a filter that's just the fucking specific thing, the specific sandwich. Okay, so that's cheeseburger, that's plain burger, that's plain burger, that's cheeseburger. And this one goes to the left. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. As long as this one's on the left. Yep, for efficiency's sake. Oh man, I forgot about the fucking order thing. That's the fucking CPU of this whole situation. So that will actually decide a lot of this. God damn it. And we're gonna shrink this speed down to two. Okay. And then yeah, we just need a machine that pumps out fucking burgers and cheeseburgers. Because once the ingredients are out, then it's actually gonna d do the whole thing. So then we just need two more dispensers. This one will be buns. Uh, burger bun. Uh, cheese. And then I need a food processor to turn the cheese into cheese slices. And then I need a conveyor belt that goes down. 
kind of conveyor belt that goes across and feeds it all into this. In fact, even more efficient would be to do it like this and scoot everything up. Okay, and then the order reader. Put it right there. Uh, whoops. Okay. Dispenser. Perform action once on new order. Electric grill. Turn on or... Uh, turn on while order is pending. <sighs> From action one time on new order. Shit. Ah, that was, that was my bad. And then, buns. Form action one time on new order. Okay. And just make sure these are all lined up. There we go. I got it. So let's watch my baby purr. The audio's clipping a little bit. Why is it not doing anything? Hold on. <coughs> Holy shit. I just spent a whole nother hour on this. Jeez. How the time flies. Okay, um... What am I doing wrong here? Uh, why am I not getting any orders, I guess, is the question. Uh, yeah, let's save that. Start. Where are my orders? I just gotta wait for somebody to come around. I see that they want... Ah! Ah! Yes! We have an order. Let's see it. Burger. Um... Nope. God damn it. Now oh, I messed it up. Ah, uh, this robot arm isn't going to take a cheeseburger because it doesn't have a cheeseburger. Um Shit. Wait a minute. I guess, hold on, I could probably do this with dumb arms, so yeah, hold on, and then I'm gonna do an order reader, let's say plain burger, Perform action 
two times on New Order. And... I guess another Order Reader? They're kind of expensive. But I got the money, I got the money. I got the money. That one. Perform action three times on new order. Yeah? Start. I don't know if that's going to work. But we got to wait. We got to wait to see. That guy's wants burger. Come get the burger. Come on, get the burger. Come on, come on. Come on, place an order. Yes, plain burger. All right, let's see. Nope, nope, it grabbed the cheese. Hold on. Let me mo use more of these, I think. Let's... Hmm. Let's make an order reader specifically for the cheeseburger and specifically for the plain burger. So, this one... Cheeseburger... action one time and Spencer form action one time and fun form action one time and grill only on when the order is pending Okay, that's the cheeseburger. So then this, whoop, this one will be the plain burger. And so it only, oh no, so you can't have, shit. Hold on. So the bug is, that I can make the parts, but then I can't get them into the assemblers correctly. So let's delete these. I know this situation is gonna have to happen. I guess the easiest way would be... The easiest way would be to make the burger parts specifically, have them both go by... Hold on. I'm going to just, like, transport this whole situation over here. So, if I have this whole assembly going on up here, well, hold on, we can delete that, and we're going to need the bun dispenser, but we'll put that there. Uh, that there, that there. Um, or no, I'm gonna need room for the arms still. Hmm. 
And I guess it just comes down to smart arms. Yeah, and the cheese only needs to go to this specific one, so let's... Dispenser... Dispenser... Processor... And... Conveyor belt... That will be... Cheese... Nope, nope, I meant I meant to give it cheese. No, god damn it, why does it keep going to cancel by default? Why would it not go to okay by default? That's annoying. And then yep, yep, yep. Dumb arm here. And then I guess I gotta make a split so that it goes to both sides. So let's hold on. Okay, I guess that doesn't select all like I thought it would. <sighs> Move. We'll twist it. And then I guess we just gotta. Yeah, split it out in both directions. Um, hmm, hold on. My audio's guffing up. And in fact, I'm gonna just take another break, because this one's really, really stumping me. Uh, I think I'm getting there. Just need to think it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think... I think I'm getting there. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to think about it, but I'll BRB, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Uh, oh, god damn it, the audio again. I don't know why the Elgato is so extra shit lately, but it just does not want to work. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Okay. Hopefully it'll stay that time. Okay, so... All I need... Okay, all I really need to do, thinking about it, is... Conveyor belt... Or, no, I don't even need to do that. I could just scoot this in. So I think I'll just have arms that... I think I'll just have arms that only activate when it's time for that specific burger. Yeah, yeah, that should make sense. Um, so we're gonna turn this down to two so that it's not too fast for the arms. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna have... Uh, well, wait a minute. I need to go like that. Then we're gonna have it turn to the left, turn, turn to the right. And then we'll have one more conveyor belt going up that way. One more going this way. Um, yes. And I'll have one more dumb arm just going straight that way. And then we needed some mortar readers, so we'll have one. Uh, we'll have one for the cheeseburger. That will activate the cheese. Perform the action one time. Activate the bun. Perform action one time. And the patty. Perform the action one time. And we will do this and we will say, we will say off while the cheeseburger order is pending so that it doesn't do anything. And then we will put another order reader in and this will be the plain burger. Yeah? That was the cheeseburger, so yes, this will be the plain burger. So we'll do... Fuck, that's right! We can't have... Um... No, you know what? No, 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 that's fine. Cancel. We'll delete this one. And we will... Um, we'll do this. Let's delete that, and then we'll just make that control the grill. And it'll, uh, only on while order is pending. Okay, so that'll control all those. And then, we'll make another order reader. For the cheeseburger, connect it to there. On while order is pending, okay. And then we'll have one more order reader here. And that will be connected to the plain burger. And it will be on while order is pending, okay. Think that does it? Let's figure this out. Let's 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 watch it. I think I, I think I got it. Just gotta wait for an order. Uh, 
The only thing I might need to change is the direction, I think. This should be this should be good. Come on, come on, give me an order. Give me an order. Need to see if this works. Come on. Come on, guys. What do you got? What do you got? You want some burger? Plain burger. There we go. Hey. Got us a plain burger going on. Righty, righty. Alright. That's not right. God damn it. Hold on. Uh, so I think I was correct. Okay. I think I was correct in doing them reverse like I did before. So let me change these around. Plain burger. Off all orders pending. Okay. And the cheese. Well, I can I can deal with the cheese. Er, actually. Let's uh let's remove that from the cheese dispenser. And make the one that's cheeseburger connect to that one. I what? Oh, I thought I deleted that from that one. I deleted that. Oh, I didn't confirm it. Gotta make sure you confirm it. Alright, then the cheese. Uh, form action one time on new order. Okay. Okay. That should be it. I'm pretty sure I got this right. Dishes delivered. I'm not using too much energy, I don't think. It's going up pretty slow. So hopefully I get I get enough orders in time. Come on, give me an order. Give me an order, I gotta see if this works. There we go, plain burger. So there's a bun, there's a patty. No cheese coming out. That's not, that's not correct. What the hell? <sighs> um, cheeseburger, plain burger. Ah, shit. So hold on. do this. I need these arms to only go off when their specific order is going. Maybe... No, I don't need to change what the fucking arm is. the order reader, right? So let's let's think this through. So I'm gonna make that cheeseburger. So I know that it's gotta dispense cheese once. And I want this arm Pending. Mm. Uh, 
Um, hold on. Let me, how about this? I'll move, I'll move this over. I think we gotta make these smart arms. I think that's it, I think. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's what I gotta do. I think I gotta, yeah, I gotta make these smart arms. Um, well, no, the cheese still goes straight to it. So, let's see. Bayer belt. Uh, change the speed to two. Is there a way to make the, the smart arm? Hold on. Uh, I can change the direction, but only one way. Damn it. No, this isn't going to work out. Shit. Well, wait. How do I... Mm. This is so confusing. Hold on. I'm going to rethink this whole fucking thing. Because uh, the only way I'm going to be able to do it is if I can get all those... these next to each other. Conveyor belt. That there. Uh, we're gonna make this the cheeseburger one. Finish dishes to the right side. Okay. Yep, that's the different speeds. Left side, plain burger. Okay. And the dispenser for the cheese. Cheese. Okay. And then we will have a dumb arm. Just like that. And it'll take it left into the cheese. Right? Cheeseburger? Yep. Hmm. Now, I need to... The thing is, I need it to go... To take both of these ingredients into both sides. So how do I make sure it's going to the correct one? Uh, 
I, hmm. Because I need an arm. I need two arms. I need one to bring both of those in. And I need a way to make sure that the food goes to both. So, like so. Yes, like that. And then... Like this. But make these slower so the arm can get to them. Well, that one arm doesn't have to care as much. This one does. Okay. Can the order reader affect... the conveyor belts? It can. Oh, that way changes things. Okay. So in that case... In that case... How would I work that, then? So... I need to get the food to the conveyor belts. I can turn the conveyor belts on or off? Hold on, what can the order reader do to the conveyor belts? Let's say it was a cheeseburger. On or off? Hmm. Okay. So, on or off, or on or off for a specific amount of time. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this a lot more on my own because honestly, I really like this, and I will probably get this full game and play more of it. But I've already spent like two hours on this specific game, so ooh. Um, I'm gonna move to a different demo. I'm I'm gonna do that, but first I'm gonna save. Okay, I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna switch up this demo. But I I like that a lot. It's very confusing. But I, I, I enjoy it. Uh, let me mark that one off. Automachef. Come on now, where is it? Where? Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Come on, come on. Automachef. Okay. And then we're going to switch over to whatever the next demo is, chronologically, or alphabetically for now. Um, and I'm going to actually leave a Thomas Chef on Awesome P2. Okay. Let's uh, change the title real quick. Awesome P2. Okay. Let's see what this business is all about. Yep, that's the controller I'm using. Oh. Lone Times You. It's, uh... Wow, this is a lot more dire. Did I click the right game? This feels a lot more sinister than I expected. 
I, uh, at any level? Any of these six levels? Okay, uh, let's go with zero. Jumping. Jumping. Oh, he does a little roll. I like that. Okay. So you can jump with A or B, and there's a double jump. Got it. Whoops. No, give me the... Ah, damn it. Give me the thing. I want it. I want the little little gubbins. Yeah. Oh. Oh, weird. I got hung up there. Nice. Oh. Oh, watch out. Oh, that is not a friend. Or maybe... Maybe friend? No. No, that's saw. That's a saw blade. Not a friend. I did it. Wow, this is uh, very different than I expected when I saw it on the uh, eShop. I don't know. I guess I expected just kind of like a fun little platformer, but this is... This is a very different feeling. It's not bad. It, it makes me feel like I'm playing like an old lost game. Which, I mean, they clearly are trying to make it look like a, a CRT computer monitor. Or like TV with the, uh, the edges of the screen there. Which I can appreciate. Whoa. Oh, I can pass through that. Okay. Ah, damn it. Come on now. Come on now. I can platform. I've played Super Meat Boy. I almost said I beat it. I've actually never beaten that game. It's very hard. I enjoy it. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm not good at it. Frick, dude. What am I supposed to do here? Oh. Whoop. Ah, damn it. Once more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with Atoma Chef, I just gotta... Atoma Chef? I just gotta uh, replay through those tutorials, because I feel like I missed something. It, was, it just got so complicated so fast. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was overthinking it, and I should have just made another burger in a bun dispenser. Honestly, that's probably what it is. But... Whatever. That'll be for another time. I am going to get the full game at some point, because I, I... Oh, that was fun. This game, I'm also enjoying a lot more than I expected to. Seeing the, uh, seeing the art, it looked kind of just silly and kitty but it's it's pretty fun in the soup in the soup mm, warm okay uh level two wow there's six of these that's pretty generous for a demo although i'm constantly surprised by how generous some of these demos can be. And that's, uh, in general, like, I, I play so many demos already, that's why I'm doing this stream, because, like, this gives me an excuse to get through them, because Coco is constantly complaining about how I have a billion demos that I never play. And it's like, I want to, and every now and then I do take the time. I just, uh, I can call it the time most times. Shit. So there was some kind of gem over there? Gonna have to we'll have to get that for later. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Shit. Damn it. No 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 no. no. I do like the uh, simple bit of he rolls uh, he rolls forward for the standard jump and then horizontally for the whoop 
for the uh, secondary jump. That's that's nice. That feels good. Real good indicator of jump. Hmm. Come on. Come on. We got this. So, as far as I can tell, there's no lives. It's just a challenge to see how quickly you can do it. I can appreciate that. There we go, got the gem. Got the gem. Whoop! Hopping up. Come on now, come on now. In the pipe. Nice. Beat. Alright, on to three. It's already uh nearly halfway through. There's technically seven. Cause they they have a level zero. Keep expecting something like scary to happen. I don't know. Something about this feels a little a little spooky. Maybe it's just the way that ah damn it. Playing old games on a CRT just always kind of felt a little spooky. Oh, something about it was a little mysterious, a little, a little scary. Did that ever happen to you? Oh man, it scares me. Playing playing on a an old computer is just like you never know what's gonna happen. Hey, yeah, yeah, platforming. This is nice, you know, this is just a pretty simple platformer, but... Sometimes that's all you need, you know? You don't always need things to be fucking out of control. Sometimes you just need to... You need to have solid mechanics and do some jumpies, you know? I like doing a few jumps. Alright. 100% so far. This makes me think of, uh, uh, what is it, in Sonic Cave Hill Zone or something? Where you're in, like, the super mystical feeling cave. I like that. I like that level. That's the one where you can ride on a little dinosaur head. I like dinosaurs. Ah, damn it. Fell in the juice. That's no good for a pee. No, sir. Ooh, so if you fall, you can still do your double jump out of the fall. It's just any time you're in the air. Okay, that's that's useful. Ooh, yeah, this is getting a little tricky. Getting a little technical. Gotta use some pro strats. Gotta use some pro gaming st strat strategies. I did it. Level four, beat. Beat that. All right. Whoa. Throw me right into it, eh? Shit. Oh. How do I, oh. Oh. It's the classic, just to hold down and Hit the jump, you know? Nothing too fancy. Whoa. Yeah, I guess this is all just about the speed running. Huh. Figured there'd be nah damn it. Really, really felt like there was gonna be some kind of twist. Oh well. Wonder what the first game was like. That's also on the list, is the demo for that. This is definitely going on my general like to buy list though. This is this is fun. Shit. Nah. Dip damn the rule. There we go. Shit. Whoopsie. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, damn, three. There we go, there we go. Let me through, let me through. Woo! 
Ugh. Let's go. Let's go. It's time. Go on then. No. Who are you? To try and slice this small pea man. He is but a green pea. Could eat him with some potatoes. Perhaps a, a steak or roast chicken. But why would you slice such a small morsel of vegetable? Ooh. Curious what these gems are. They're not counting them on the on the main screen. Ooh. Soup. Wait a minute. Don't want to go in the soup yet. Gotta get that one. Put me in the soup. Yeah. I like this. I, I, I It's good, simple platforms. Thank you for playing demo of Awesome P2. Hey, thank you for making demo of Awesome P2. Well, all right. That was a pretty fun one. Pretty quick. Marking it off the list. Let's see. Where was it? There it is. All right, let's see what's up next. Gonna close that, and of course, gonna archive it. The only reason I didn't archive Automa Chef was because it uh, it uh, I'm gonna play it more. So I'll just keep it on here. Black Hill. Blasphemous. Oh, I don't have that one downloaded. Bucket tonight. Sure, let's do that. So let me change the title real quick. Okay. Let's check it out. Bucket night. The night in the bucket. Hm. Oh, hey. This is the same company that made a uh, awesome P. Okay. Ah, it's a similar feel. Did I do something wrong? Do I gotta? Do I gotta just? Oh. 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 Okay. Weird. Oh, there is audio. It's very quiet. Hand, hand. Coin? Dot, dot, dot. House equals coin. No house equals no coin. Question mark? Trophy. Trophy equals coin, coin, coin. Trophy equals house. Go get trophy, I guess. Okay. Oh, yep. I, uh... I don't know how to shoot. Oh, there's the jumps. Ah, there's the shoot. Okay, it is a... Oof, I wish I could set that to a uh, Y. Cause that's gonna be pretty annoying. Stop it. Get out of here. Okay, so this is just a simple little shmup thing. I mean, yeah, this company is making some decent like retro stuff. I did it. Ah, I do have a double jump. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah, it does that thing of the limited range on the bullets. Whoops. I stepped right in them spikes. That was my fault. Truly. But it's alright, I ate that one. 
The apple fixed me right up. And then I messed it up again. Ah! Oh, get out of here. Gorblin. Shit. Oh, I've taken a lot of damage. This feels uh, kind of Spelunky-esque, you know? Not exactly roguelike, but, you know, similar. Can I... Ooh, I gotta unlock those. It's uh, interesting to have a medieval shooter. Eh. I gotta take damage for the money. I can't miss it. This whole quest is for the money. Whoops. Yep. Get some bronze pieces. Follow that guy. Alright. Oh, just gotta time it. No, no, I get hit anyways. I've been a fool. Okay, this is a very different feel from the other game, but I I like it. I I, I, I am enjoying this. It's very odd aesthetically. I feel like the bucket knight thing is a uh, more of a, a limitation of the uh, graphics than it is what they want to. Oh, the cheese hurts. Okay, don't get cheese, I guess. Whoops. Damn. Just gotta be more careful, I guess. I've been coming in like it doesn't even matter, but it uh, clearly it matter. Trying a little harder, I guess. Oh, shit. I should have saved that apple for a... Uh... When I actually needed it. Bam. Up. And away. Whoops. Ah, whoops, that's the jump. Ah, damn it. So yeah, I gotta get a little better at the dodging. I gotta be just, I gotta play more cautious, you know? Just generally, don't get the cheese. The cheese is a trap. Cheese hurts. I don't want it. That cheese hurts me. There we go. Got a key. And got a pill. Alright, this is. I'm just gonna have to kind of nickel and dime him. <coughs> that was worth it. It's worth it for all the uh, the, the spoils of war. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No cheese. No cheese. Bad for me. Bad for your heart. Makes you gain weight. Just kidding. I mean, it will eventually. You know, I still got calories, but. Ooh. Oh. Is that supposed to do that? In general, sugar. Really just... I mean, it's... Just in general, like... Fat is just calories... That your body didn't find use for and is storing for later. So... Like... Any... Anything that's high calorie is gonna make you gain a little weight. Cheese is pretty high calorie, and it's it's got a lot of fat, so it's really bad for your heart. Uh, no, uh, let me in. I want that. I want that. Give me the key. Okay. No key for me, I guess. Let's do it. Oh, now they got the saw blades. Classic. 
video games. Oh, wow, those are instant death. Okay. Gotta be real careful with my jumps then. Wish they would have told us, like, what specific goal we're looking for. You know, like, I get that the new guns, those are a goal, but, like, how much am I trying to earn for this house? Whoops! Tried to awesome pee it with the, uh, Uh, jumping after you're already falling, but this game does not have that. That's good to keep in mind. So I gotta do a little jump if I want to get that bonus. That was, that was much quicker. Okay. Okay. Let's keep it going. Shit. Hmm. It makes me think a little bit of, uh, Tinker Knight from friggin', uh, Shovel Knight, you know? He also had that, that bucket helmet. Whoop. Well, shit. I've taken a lot of damage. I'll get what I can and then just try and survive, I guess. Shit. I was trying to hit the other button and I messed it up. Whoop. There we go. Whoop. All right. It's doing a lot better this time. So I guess, yeah, you're not going to really succeed at killing these guys. Oh, I like that. If you hit him from the back, it does the reverse 10. No! Two of his coins! I wanted those. Oh well. Do 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 boob! Alright. I think this is the last game in the demo. Or rather, the last level in the demo. So, let's do it. Whoop. Alright, gotta do this, do this action. Alright. Whoop. Nope. Oh boy. Ooh, it's a bit technical, but it's also a bit tedious to do. You understand. Sure, these will be much easier to deal with once I get the, the next gun. Oh, geez. Oh, wow, those guys are... Incredibly uh, dangerous. I don't want the cheese, thank you. I'm just trying to finish the demo, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep all these. Why do I keep keep on trying to 100% each of these? Now it's scold. Whoa! It would have been better if you'd given me something to heal with, or whatever. Okay, gotta be very careful. Oh, come on, give me an apple. Give me a ruddy apple. Woohoo! Ah, oh, I gotta start it all over? Bro, okay, that's fine. Just gotta be more careful about those exploded guys. They turned out to be much more treacherous than expected, so. Whoop. Yup. 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 Come on now. 
All right, gotta do the, gotta do the hop strat. Come on now, come on now. Watch out. Watch out. Bam, all right. Whoa, whoa, shit. Okay. I was much more careful that time, so one, two, three, four, there we go, and get him. Okay, it only takes two. So I'm doing much better coming out of this. Oof, just gotta watch out for these guys. Oh, did I get hit? God damn it. They're like really bad at letting you know, to be honest. Like, yeah, I see that, but it's like, there's no throwback or anything. It's just, you fucking get hit and you're done. All right. Okay, okay. Da, 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 da. Get him. Gotta get him. Gotta get him from behind. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Honestly, I was a little nervous that I wouldn't survive that. Whoop. Oh, I keep hitting Y because it makes more sense. Is this a ladder? Whoops, I gotta go up here first. There we go. Done did it. Alright, and that's, that's the end of the demo. So, that one was pretty fun. I think I might get that one in the future too, as far as that goes. Lower, lower on the tier, you know, but <laughs> I enjoyed it. Honestly, the only one I didn't really like was Alder's Blood. Was it was boring. It just wasn't. It was just so much like, oh, yeah, a dreary story about death and destruction. I don't care. But yeah, the other ones were pretty fun. Atomic Chef. I'm gonna need to play a little more to really get a hang on it. But probably play 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 some more of these next week. Um, I'm gonna be doing these Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Yesterday was just a really bad day for me. So, I didn't really feel like streaming, but I'm doing better. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, going to do more of this next week. So, in the meantime, I want to thank you all for watching, whether it's in the past, present, or future. If you missed the beginning of the stream or want to see any of my other streams, I've done quite a few, uh, you can check the past broadcast tabs for the last 60 days worth. Or you can go to the YouTube archive channel, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is linked down below on the browser version that has all of the streams I've ever done. It also has uh, my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, link down there, which has a bunch of fun stuff. I'm going to be posting some stuff weekly. I'm trying to go weekly, but I posted some fun stuff last week, and I'm going to be posting more coming up. I got a lot of ideas. It's just it's a work, so I got to do it. If you want to catch any future streams, you can check out the uh, schedule down below, which says what games I'm doing on which days. You can also check the uh, channel stream, so if you... If you click the stream icon right there, down below, and go to my channel and then go to the schedule tab, it will say the specific hour that I'm planning on doing things, but that's all subject to change. So the best way to make sure you don't miss a stream or anything like that is to go to at IggyDKid, that's my Twitter, and follow me because I tweet out every time I stream right beforehand so you'll know the exact time that I'm going to be starting up. Um, obviously sometimes I'm going to lay a little early, whatever, whatever. Um, and you can also, if you really want to be sure, check out, uh, follow me up above, which is uh, very helpful for me. It's free for you. It's free for you. I'm counting off here. Uh, it's very helpful for the channel, and it's free for you. And if you set up 
your account the right way. You can get notifications through the Twitch app, through email, through whatever means you'd like. You can set that up for yourself and you will get a notification every time that I go live. So that's the best way to do it and I'd really appreciate it if you considered following through that. So with all that, I'd like to thank you again for inviting me into your home, your computer, your tablet, your TV, your game console, your phone. However you watch tonight, I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope I brought some levity and entertainment into your life. I do my best. And hey, if nobody else has said this. I hope. Wait. Yes. No, 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 that's correct. So I hope I bring some levity and entertainment into your life. I try my best. I hope you'll join us for the stream on uh, Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, when I'm going to be playing some Super Mario 64. I'm trying to 100% that. And then this again on Tuesday, more demos. Um, so, yeah. If, if nobody else has ever said this to you, I'll say this to you now. You're a good kid. Don't ever let anybody make you think otherwise, all right? Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Tune in on Saturday, 8 p.m. for the next stream. It's going to be fun. I'm probably going to get very angry. Mario 64 angers me, but I know people like that, so goodbye. Goodbye for now.